Hello folks, fellow YouTubers and friends. Uh, my name is Raymond Head. My friends call me Boomer. And uh, as of this month, quite a few of you already know that I've been working on uh, the Milkovic two-stage oscillator. As of this month, uh, 12 years off and on. And I've learned a lot. But I've also gotten a lot older too. I just recently had my 75th birthday, and I made a video about it, and I retired. In retiring, I no longer have the money that I had to invest in, in this uh, endeavor, and uh, my health is going downhill too, so I don't have the strength. So, I don't want to die and not share all the secrets that I have learned of the two-stage oscillator. Secret number one. Right off the bat, everybody knows that, that knows anything about the Milkovic two-stage oscillator that Milkovic and his uh, buddy Jovan did the math on their machine and they came out with somewhere between 11 and 12 times more energy out than in. <laughs> Many people have tried to disprove this. Many people have not tried to disprove it, but tried to prove it if it was or was not. But the problem is they're making the same mistakes that Milkovic did, and I, when I first started, we all made the same mistakes. That's why I'm going to make this video is share some secrets, and it's not just going to be this one video because the secrets I've learned over the years are so many, it's going to take a couple of hours to go into it. So I'm just going to make a series of videos and try to keep them as short as possible. And this is the last time I won't do this in the future videos on this. I'm going to call these uh, uh, two-stage mechanical oscillator secrets. And I don't know if I'm going to do numbs in there, but that's what I'm going to do. Okay, uh, secret number one, and I've told several hundred people this, and nobody's listening. Nobody is doing what I'm what I keep trying to tell them they need to do, and that is swing the pendulum from bottom dead center to a full 90 degree swing upward, both directions, which would be total 180 degrees, exactly. Now, let me try to explain why you want to do this, if I can find the egg on pen. Oh man, what to do with that thing? Nope, nope, nope. All right, I'll use a green one. All right, anyway, the thing is, let's just say, for example, you got your power transfer. I'm, I'm really poor drawer. Your power transfer bar is three feet, okay? And you come out here at one foot. Now, some people are coming out longer than that. Well, at one foot at two feet, that is a two to one uh, ratio. So if this comes down one inch, this goes up one, uh, two inches. If this goes up one inch, this comes down two inches. Now, this going up and down, this is where your pendulum is. Okay? This going up and down is what loses power in the pendulum. If this does not move, the pendulum produces unreal power, unbelievable power. But, it doesn't go anywhere and power not going anywhere is no power okay so let's just say if we let this move one inch down and this goes two inches up and this pulls with a force of a thousand pounds okay then you're going to lift 500 pounds two inches it's just that simple it's really that simple but Here's the secret. It's not going to lift that 500 pounds, 2 inches. And here's the reason why. You're only swinging your pendulum at 45 degrees or less. Now, when this pendulum pulls down 1 inch at 45 degrees, it's on a downhill angle. This is on an uphill angle, but the pendulum is swinging out. It has a centrifugal force. So it's going to hold it down to a certain degree, and this is not going to come up. This is going to try to come down, but it's going to have to pull back on the pendulum as it comes up, lifting the pendulum on an angle. You see what I'm saying? No. That's why you want to come out here 
at a full 90 degrees this way. Oh, I've got to get a better hand. Anyway, my point is if you come out here, you're no longer lifting the weight. As it comes up, because it's an arc, you're actually pushing it out. That one inch computed on that angle, you're only going to push this about a sixteenth of an inch out and change the angle of the pendulum. Therefore, your 500 pounds is going to come all the way down fast. When this pendulum swings up, whether it's here or here, it makes no difference. When it's stuck, it's stuck. It weighs absolutely nothing unless you try to move it. In this position, you're trying to move it this way as this comes down, so it's still going to come down a lot slower. I hope you people understand what I'm trying to say here. This is, it's unbelievable how little energy it takes to, to go from 45 degrees to 90 degrees. Okay? I mean, it's, and here's another thing a lot of people don't understand. The heavier the pendulum is, the less energy it takes to keep it swinging once it's swinging. Now, truly, if the pendulum weighs 500 pounds, it, and it takes, say it takes uh, 10 inch pounds to maintain it, it, and you're going up here, let's say this is four feet, so you're going up 45 degrees, you're going up uh, two feet, two times uh, uh, 500 pounds is 1,000 pounds. Duh. But once it's swinging, you're only going to need 10 inch pounds to keep it swinging. If you swing it up here, you're going to need, let's see, we said 500 pounds, two feet, that you're going to need 2,000 pounds to, to get it up here. But once it's up there and swinging, you would think you would need 20 pounds. You don't. That's the whole, the secret is you don't. You need 10 pounds to swing it at 45. You would think to swing it at 90 it would take 20 pounds, but it doesn't. It's, it's not even going to take 15 or 16 pounds. It takes less pounds per height per pound. The higher you go, the less poundage it takes per distance per pound of weight. I mean, I keep telling people you have to learn to use direct mathematics, proportional mathematics, and exponential mathematics on the two-stage oscillator. If you don't, you won't be able to figure out anything. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, please, quit swinging your pendulum at 45 degrees. Go 90. Now, problem that I've had... Oh, good. What the hell happened to my pen? Oh, let me get another one. Hopefully this one works. Yes. All right. Hold on. Hold on. One second. Let me get the board cleaned off here just a little bit, and I'll show you something. bicycle frames. Number one, bicycle frames are too small. They don't arc properly or anything of that nature. So, tr please, if you're going <coughs> to do this again, don't use a bicycle frame. Alright, in order to swing the pendulum at 90 degrees, what I've done on mine, I had the pivot point of the pendulum here, the pivot point of the uh, work transfer bar here, the point of lift over here, da da da. Now you see the pendulum support arms are coming down like this. When they come up, they're going to hit like so. You cannot swing it 90 degrees. Well, we've come up with a solution for that. What we're done is looking down on it, okay? We've got two rods. 
with the pendulum here. Here, we have a support here, and here, here, and here, our tower is here. And we have an axle going through here and here. Therefore, the pendulum can swing up and the arms go between the axles of the work transfer bar, the power transfer bar. So that makes it really simple to where now you know you can swing the pendulum uh, 90 degrees. So that's just a suggestion. Somebody else come up with another idea. That's, that's great with me. Super. So anyway, that's what we're doing now. We're building these bars right here, are 12 inch wide, half inch thick, uh, 54 inch long pieces of steel each. Again, one of the things that I uh, tell people is if there's any flex whatsoever in your steel or in, in your machine, any vibrations, that's lost energy, lost power. Okay? So, oh man. Ugh. Anyway, all right, so much for that. Uh, all right, I know that everybody that has uh, studied any videos of Milkovic and New Orleans, uh two state oscillator. They claim to be getting 11 to 12 times more energy out than energy in. And uh, they've studied their mathematics and their machine, and they are absolutely 100% correct. 100. But like I said, their machine is built with flaws. So is mine. Over and over and over again, I built it, and I had different flaws, and I tried to take care of them. My machine right now. You're not going to believe me, but I swear to you, I'm not pulling your leg. It is showing signs of way over 20 times the energy out is put in. If you don't believe me, tough. I mean, nobody's going to believe me. Right now, I'm putting in less than 50 movable inch-pounds of energy, and I'm getting out 18 hundred moving inch pounds of energy you do the math it's way over 25 times okay and the thing is what we're doing to the machine right now oh by the way I've already proved this over unity many times by using weights and a, a to drive the machine and using an escapement to drive it and doing the measurement of what it's lifting and so forth. I've already proven that it is over unity. And it's not defying any laws of physics. In fact, if it wasn't for the laws of physics, it would not work. Okay? So anyway, take this with a grain of salt, study the, uh, the video, and, so, and think about what I've just explained here. Just think about it, okay? All right, in a few days I'm gonna go get a, try to make another video on another portion of it uh, on the lifting mechanism where people are doing wrong there. And I did too, I'm not, I'm not uh, perfect. I don't know everything about two-stage oscillator. This and other. There's a lot more to learn. But I don't know if I'm going to live long enough to learn it all. But I do know that the machine is more, more than worth looking into. But you got to quit thinking outside the box. Think inside the box. Okay? Think about the corners of the box that you haven't explored yet.